Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm just going to read you a little short piece from my lovely book by Neville Goddard and then I'm going to comment on it because it struck me earlier today. Okay, so here we go. The great secret is a controlled imagination and a well-sustained attention, firmly and repeatedly focused on the object to be accomplished. It cannot be emphasised too much that by creating an ideal within your mental sphere, by assuming that you are already that ideal, you identify yourself with it and thereby transform yourself into its image. This was called by the ancient teachers, subjection to the will of God or resting in the Lord. And the only true test of resting in the Lord <clears throat> is that all who do rest are inevitably transformed into the image of that in which they rest. Very important. <clears throat> you become according to, to your resigned will and your resigned will is your concept of yourself. And all that you consent to and accept as true. You, assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled and continuing therein, Take upon yourself the results of that state, not assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. You are ever free of the results. There you go. That's it. That's all I wanted to read. <coughs> so what does it all mean? Well, <clears throat> let's, let's have a look and just check that everyone got that. Well... We've got to keep our attention on what we want within. Very important. But what really caught my attention is that, yeah, they, they, he does always talk about um, assuming the new concept of self. So seeing yourself as the person who has already achieved what you want to achieve. Um, but I liked this bit where uh, it says about resting in the Lord, because I thought that was really clear, resting in the Lord. And the Lord lives within each one of us. He is our imagination. So we're resting in the imagination. And just that by resting in how you see yourself being in the future, you become that. And um, and then you just assume you're it, you know. But I don't know what it was exactly, but it just really caught me, you know, that the idea that you are resting in it. Yeah. I thought there was more there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> resting in the Lord. <clears throat> I think that's really powerful, though, despite me laughing at that bit. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of a bad throat to you. I need a bit of this because that helps. Just a little bit, just to um, make Sunday night feel better and prepare me for Monday morning which is always a bit of a bummer. Um, well, what do I think about this anyway? It makes me more encouraged to imagine, um, <clears throat> imagine how I would be, how I will be when I, like physically how I will be and, and how I will, um, act when I achieve my aim. 
and then just to spend some moments resting in that, like see the image of myself and then go into that image and imagine what that would feel like and then just rest in it and just think, I'm resting in the Lord, I'm resting in the Lord. And do that every day and just see it as a really, a really lovely thing to do. Just the, um, the sense of resting should encourage everybody to do it. But let's do that. Let's call it resting in the Lord and set aside some time every day where we rest in how we want to be. And know that every time that we do that, we are transforming ourselves into the future vision. And we're bringing the future into the present moment. That's really what we're doing. And so we're really loving ourselves by doing that. And if we want to achieve our goals, we need to do that regularly. We need to rest in the Lord. What do you think? Um, maybe I'm not being very, uh, very, uh, erudite or articulate, but I think the key message is there that we need to rest in our new self-concept. <sighs> so I'm going to do it. Are you, um, I do feel more and more that I am the person I want to be. And I feel very motivated to get there. And I am taking action, whether I'm supposed to do that or not. I don't know. But I just feel, I just want to do some small things every day that might lead me to what I want in my life. And maybe by imagining what I want to be, it, that is actually making me want to take this action and do all these different things. So uh, that's all I want to say really for the time being. I'm going to do another clip, I think, but I just want to do a short one on this. And um, I'm just, I've just got some fish in the oven, so I need to stop now anyway. So um, I hope you liked that, <laughs> even though I didn't say very much, but it's just a reminder to rest in the Lord. What else can I say? Okay, people, hope to speak to you soon. Bye.